The Uganda Law Society Election Legislations of 2016 and the Legislations 13 gives members a chance to participate in the General Assembly so as to exercise the right of electing those to represent them. However, according to City Lawyer Stephen Kalali, who is also a member of the Society, Uganda Law Society does contrary to its legislations and act. When you look at the Uganda Law Society Act, Section 10, it gives the council powers to make some decisions, but then their powers are limited. It says, save for the powers that are given under the regulations. Under the regulations, it is members who have a right to choose our society representatives, which opportunity has never been accorded to us. This has prompted him to run to courts of law for it to determine that Uganda Law Society's nomination and the appointment of representatives to the statutory bodies is null and void. So they need to come to court so that we can enforce our right to freedom of expression towards choosing who should represent us in what way and also hold them accountable. Because as of now, some of these individuals have been on these bodies for over eight years. Kalai says although they tried to convey their concerns to the relevant authorities, all this was in vain. This issue we have petitioned since 2022. We have attached evidence, but despite the various calls, the, the Uganda Law Society leadership has not acted upon. However, talking to Uganda Law Society's President Bernard Wundo, he highlighted on this matter. Uganda Law Society held an extra general meeting to discuss this matter, and the members agreed. That one of the things we cannot do is to recall, but also the councils that appointed those members appointed them in our view legally but if there is any issue as to whether the appointment was legal or not the courts will be happy to determine that and we welcome his petition and uh, as lawyers we are 5,000 lawyers in this country we have different views and therefore it's important that uh, our different views are appreciated and so I appreciate his his view as a member of the Uganda Society. Rebecca Dantongo, UBC News.